Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back. So if you're watching this video, there's a chance that maybe you're stuck somewhere between the 365 and 385 light range and the thing holding you back is either your ghost or your artifact. Now I'm already aware that there's a bunch of videos on this topic and this is for the most part general knowledge but there's always going to be somebody asking so I thought I'd make this video anyway and hopefully help some people out. So starting off, if the main thing that is holding you back is your ghost then there are two main methods of acquiring a higher light ghost. The first method is simply levelling up factions, either New Monarchy, Future War Cult, Dead Orbit, The Crucible or The Vanguard. All of the packages that you get have a chance to drop a ghost and that ghost could end up being higher than your current light level. As you can see in this clip, I got really lucky with New Monarchy and got a 372 ghost. My previous ghost was 365. So that was immediately a 7 light level difference, which was a massive help. Everything else other than my ghost at the time was above 370. The only thing holding me back was the ghost, which was 365, and then as soon as I got the 372 ghost, that propelled me forward. The second method of acquiring a ghost, and this may seem kind of obvious, is from the new raid, Wrath of the Machine. The infection ghost shell has a chance to drop from the first phase of the final boss fight with Axis. Although this one might be a bit more difficult to get because of course this is a random drop and you can only get loot once per week per character so that is three chances at getting the ghost shell and if you don't get it then you have to wait till the next week until the weekly reset. Whereas factions you can just keep dumping as many materials as you have to keep ranking up until you finally get a ghost shell. Now, in case anybody watching this video is still yet to even hit 365 light and is below that, if you're struggling to get a 365 ghost, the simple answer is just to grind Siva Crisis Heroic Strikes. Every time you defeat a strike boss, they will drop some blue engrams and one of those could end up being a ghost and over time, you'll just keep building up your light level until you eventually reach 365. Beyond 365 though, you will have to depend on these methods in order to attain a higher light level. Moving over to the artifact now, we have three methods. So the first method is by opening horde chests at the end of strikes using skeleton keys. Now you may have a few skeleton keys because up to 365 light, you'll want to be grinding Siva Crisis Heroic Strikes anyway. So if you are currently below 365 light, save your skeleton keys until you hit 365. After that, when you open up horde chests at the end of strikes, they will have a chance to drop blue artifacts, and those artifacts can be above 365. Of course, there's two layers of RNG here because you will need skeleton keys beforehand, and those are not guaranteed drops, so you will have to get lucky. You could also get super lucky like I did and decrypt an engram, which ends up turning into an above 365 artifact. But again, that is random, I just happen to get super lucky. The second method is through ranking up your Crota's Bane through Eris Morn. It turns out that the packages that you get from her every time you rank up will also have a chance to drop an artifact that is above your current light level. You can do this through either grinding the Court of Oryx or you can hand in Worm Spore in exchange for Crota's Bane rep. This method could take a lot longer and could be a lot more tedious, but it is an option. And the final method, which again may seem kind of obvious, is the Wrath of the Machine Raid. Artifacts also have a chance to drop from the first phase of the Axis fight, so the same place as you'd get the Raid Ghost. So that is about it, you just gotta keep repeating these methods until you reach 385. Of course you're not just going to immediately get a 385 Ghost or Artifact, you will have to keep increasing your light in increments and keep getting ghosts and artifacts until you can fuse up to 3A5. So I do hope that this video was informative and of some help to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.